this painting technique will change the way you look at painting. So a couple months ago, I was on Pinterest and I pinned a few paintings. And one of them was this painting by Jed Dursey. And then just about two weeks ago, I was on YouTube and I saw the same painting and I watched how he did it. Today, I want to show you guys how you can do it too. So we normally paint a landscape from the sky to the foreground, but with this method, you paint the trees and then the sky. This might not make sense, but trust me, at the end of the video, you'll know how to do it too. Painting the glow of the trees. This can be quite tricky. So the first thing I did was start with a yellow glob. And then I kind of just kept going out from there, varying in color, just trying to fade it in. So I did yellow, and then I did orange, and then I did red, and I kept doing that and kept fading it until I had the desired look that I want. It should look something like this in the end. After that, I moved on to painting the sky. So you're going to want to mix a light color, not completely white, but almost white. This is going to be the sky behind the trees, if that makes sense. Once you have that color mix, you can kind of just go in and start carving out the trees. This can be pretty difficult, but if you kind of train yourself to think a little bit backwards, then it could help you because you're technically carving out the trees instead of painting the trees. After I did that inner part, I slowly mixed a darker color of yellow to fade out the sun. Next, I came back in and started refining the trees. I just tried to make some edges more soft and make some edges harsh and add some tree stumps where I think they were needed. Most of all, have fun doing it and if you mess up, try to wipe it off, but if you can't, then embrace it. Just happy little accidents, right? After I felt like I had most of the trees done, I painted the rest of the landscape. This scene is this area where we go camping every year with our friends and family. I really like this camping trip and I pretty much love camping and love being outdoors. So when I saw this technique, I knew I wanted to do it in a lake scene, especially because I've never seen Jed Dursey do that. When I sat back and looked at this painting, the sky looked weird. It was one solid mass and it was also yellow. So it didn't look very real. So I came back in and added some more texture with clouds and a little bit more orange. I went back in with orange and tried to fade out the bright yellow in between the trees because I didn't want the sky behind the trees to be yellow and then the sky on the outside of the trees to be orange. So I decided to go back in and fix that. 
After that, I moved on to painting the water. I don't normally struggle with this, but for some reason with this painting, I felt like the water just wasn't looking how I wanted it to, but after a little bit, I figured it out. I also decided to make the mountains a little bit smaller and more blue. I also decided to add paddle borders because one of our favorite things to do while we're camping is go out and paddle board, especially at sunset, so I felt like it was fitting for this painting. I just love the effect and life it brings to the painting. After many hours of work, here's the finished product. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.